Okay, so we had a good first few videos of a talk about the past Exodus series and all this other stuff. But to keep things interesting, I kind of want to mix it up with a story I'm more familiar with. So, as of this video right here, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the past few months in my series. Now, you guys may not know this, or maybe you do. Some of the sequences in this series kind of relates to my life. Kind of like how certain situations in life you could relate into some songs and stuff like that. Some sequences in the series are kind of related to my life. But anyway, we're going to talk about the first few months. <laughs> From now, actually. <laughs> Not about me, but the story. <laughs> so last year sometime... I don't know if I want to start with last year's stories because that's a bit over the past few months. But it was like around December, February of last year. Kind of like when I was still doing my um, YouTube videos with my Beno guy and Della Rose and all that stuff. I was doing the series even then and all that. <laughs> so like, I don't know if I want to start from there because it's a really good series. It's kind of a love story. But at the same time, it's a bit overdue. The most uh, recent series that has finished is the one called The Bio Wars. I did not write that story. I was going to write the story, but I lost interest. Whew. Now, the ending of the Bio Wars, um, Exul, uh, he, <laughs> well, first, let's talk about the Bio Wars story. Now, I told you back in the Colony series and all this other stuff. I know I didn't tell you guys. Um, people wanted to destroy Exul because, well, most of the, okay, um, a lot of enemies that wanted to do world or universal terror knew that Exul was one of the most powerful people in the universe. This was a problem to them. In order to solve that problem, they wanted to create something, but they didn't know how. This is going, now I'm going to start talking about the past again. Because in the past, there was this bioweapon called the moon virus. This is like in 2004. So this is back where what I was explaining before about the colonies and stuff. Yeah, actually this is kind of part of the colonies series. Um, there was this bioweapon created by this mastermind called the Moon Virus. And she was able, let's just say a bio, I mean a bioweapon can like really do some damage. They're these, I can't, you can't really call them human because they're not kind of organic in a sense and they're kind of toxic normal humans cannot withstand their makeup meaning if they're engaged in combat with a bioweapon either she's gonna kill him because they're outmatched or they're going to eventually suffer from the toxins they release from their bodies Exos somewhat immune to bioweapons. In the bio war, they were more advanced, but this is the first bioweapon. She were she was able to how can you say it? Um Um Uh Alter Exos data makeup whenever he came into contact with him. So this kinda temporarily poisoned him. To the point where, um, where it either bothered him or weakened him. Because the moon virus, Exul was like, bioweapons really have an effect on, so, uh, this female bioweapon, Exul was, uh, he really had the hot spur. He, uh, she was sexy as fuck. How can, yeah, we should put it like that. She was sexy as fuck. Exul was like totally attracted to her. Not because she was attractive. She was attractive, but 
more so because of the biotoxins. He was really attracted to the biotoxins. It's like nicotine. You get addicted. And being around her, the toxins, whoo, amplified his affection. Uh, affection is for her, if I worded that correctly. So, wanting more of her, but wanting less at her less of her at the same time because the more he engaged with her the more affected he got by her and yeah the more he was engaged with her the more toxin he um he um and took so it was pretty interesting that's why she was called the moon virus because it affected him like a virus and this mastermind, okay, this is kind of a love story, so, huh? this mastermind that created the bioweapon created her for the sole purpose to be able to fight, and they were hoping to destroy Exo. The bioweapon really didn't have much of a mind of her own at the moment, and she was controlled by this organization, Exo. Yeah, he kind of liked it, the moon virus. But he knew he had to destroy her. Or else. Well, I don't know if there were no or else. But anyway, um, in this series, Exul had to fight the moon virus in several occasions. So this was, the moon virus was a really long chapter. So we have them battling every now and then. And then them actually getting along. It couldn't really get along physically if you should say because like whenever he tries to get close to her sexually or you know romantically uh he gets too intoxicated to the point where it uh how could you say it's too poisonous and too painful for exul to handle because after being in contact with her after a certain amount of time, depending on how long he was around her, once he was away from her, or once he got a good enough distance away from her, he would be like, Ugh, uh, sound constipated and all this other stuff. He would be sweating and laying on the floor because toxins was whooping his ass. So, <laughs> so she was the first bioweapon. Uh, whew. It kind of got dirty with the series between them two. Kind of a itchy story about around mid chapters. Um, so this mastermind had mostly control over her, and Exul wanted to destroy the mastermind to get control over her so she can have a mind of her own. He wanted to uh, free her from the mastermind so she'd have a mind of her own. So if there was any chance of them dating, there would actually be a chance for them. To date, that was like part of the reason why he wanted to free her. At the same time, he wanted to free her to destroy her just in case he needed to. So, the moon virus was a good chapter. To be honest, now that I'm talking and rethinking about it, I kind of actually missed the moon virus chapter. So it's a very interesting series. I don't know if I have some of it written. I may have written some of it and have it on my desktop in some flash drive somewhere. Because that's how hooked I was about the moon virus chapter. It was really good. Especially since it was taking place in high school when I was at a young age. And around that time I had more emotion and more connection with my stories when I were doing them so it was a really good chapter that felt really good to me I really enjoyed the story and quite frankly I would love to do another one if possible but for now we know that that is far out of reach so now that I explained that a little bit I'm going to talk about the bio war so this this bio war and no, this story does not relate to any events in my life. This is just actually part of a story that I just wanted to do. 
just for the fuck of it. Um, the Bio War. This is they uh some weapon specialist or weaponist created bio weapons because they wanted to pract pretty much do the same thing they did before. They wanted to create something to the Red Exul. So they made a final attempt to create the powerfulest bioweapons they possibly could. Because if Exul could defeat these type of bioweapons, then there was just no point of creating bioweapons anymore. And of course, you know, Exul overcame that shit. Easy as pie. But I did get a little bit off of main story with this story. Because it was actually pretty good. Um... I think I should have Hintiji, my nephew, aka my nephew, talk about this story. So I might give you a link to his channel or I might make another video relating to this because he probably remembers this story better than I do. Because this story was maybe, huh, it's May. Oh, this story was done in March and April, I think. Yeah, March or April. Um, it was a good series, <laughs> and it relates to class too, which I talked about in one of my videos, which is this universe that's located on the edge of the universe. Space is known to be, has no, space is known to be endless, but in this series there is an end to space, and it's called the edge of the universe, and once you cross over and blah, 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 you have to go look back in one of my other videos about this clusterfuck that I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god, this word is getting funny. Um, that's pretty much the only way you will be able to um, uh, know about it. Because I don't feel like really going into detail about it right now. Um, so, the series went to class 2. There, there was a second bio war. <laughs> the bio series. This bio war thing that I did was good. Uh... Yeah, there was a second bio war in class two. And Exil was like, oh shit, if there's a bio war in class two, just like there was in class one, I'm pretty sure the bio weapons in class two were like butt loads and fuck loads more stronger. So it ended up being a bio war in class two. And it got crazy when the perfect bio weapon was created. And, you know, a perfect bioweapon. Um, back in past series, uh, back in the past series, bioweapons weren't perfect. It was impossible to make them perfect. But in class two, they actually made one perfect one out of a thousand unperfect ones. So, like, it was a plot behind it. At first, they thought they were just creating this bio war. They were creating bios to try to do the same thing. But within reality, in reality, they were stalling a lot of time to create this one bioweapon that was going to be perfect. And, you know, they found out when it was too late and she ended up being created and shit. I, act, I honestly, um, <laughs> I did something weird with the bio chapter. And I don't know if I ended it with her dying. I don't know if she's still alive, so you might actually see her in future episodes coming soon when I do another story with Hintiji. You might actually see her come back, because quite honestly, we were doing this story while, um, while me and my nephew were um, coming up with ideas for this story. So the next time we get a chance to come up with more ideas... We probably will bring or finish the story with her. But for right now, um, the current story is Emerald. And before Emerald was a story kind of that related to the Bio War. So we're not too far off from the two series that I'm talking about now. Um, I'm not sure what else to cover right now. And a 14 minute conversation. <laughs> That's quite getting my brain cells uh, flowing a little bit too much, so I will go off topic, and I want to stay on a certain subject for the next few videos, so I'm not, I'm gonna take a small break. Uh.
So yeah.